There's Iwaki, looks pretty basic. Mito's looks nice, 30th anniversary. Proper, proper badge on there. I mean, covered in sponsors though, isn't it? Covered in sponsors and it flashing. Badge looks nice, but I can see a few washes that's coming off. You know what I mean? I like this one. Yeah, your Garmin FC, that's very clean, yeah. No box, logos. Yeah. But again, it's just it's, it's just like, I mean, th just this is gonna come off 100%. Yeah. It's a little plastic badge, and this isn't even like embossed, it's just so cheap. You know what I mean? But, but this makes it so that it's not gonna fall on. That's true, that's true. I think some people prefer this type of way, so no matter how many times you wash it, it's not gonna come off. This will come off eventually, but not uh, sponsors. I'm not really a fan of the Puma shirts anyway, you know? Oh uh, yeah, same. And uh, these patches, it's really inconsistent. This is like a mm. denim type. Denim? Yeah. yeah, what the fuck? And then another one is uh, more... Plastic? Yeah, like plastic. Yeah, right. Well, what? What's that all about, man? Yeah, it's not really consistent. I'm always kind of like Monterio's kids. Yeah? Yeah. I like What's nice about it? It's different. It's also the kit maker's different penalty, right? Is it like, like a Brazilian brand? I think so. Yeah. But it's like, I think Montedio has nice kits. Very clean. I like the way they do this. Some kits they, they put in every city, every town. That's nice, yeah. This is just Yamagata, just simple. I mean, too much. That's it, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that classes. at all, that's horrible. Jeff is very basic. I like Hummel though. Hummel's one of yeah. my favorite kit makers. Can just, be very nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's horrible, isn't it? I mean, this one on the side as well. Yeah. Win, win by all. Win by all, guys. I mean, that's a lovely badge, Fujieda. Yeah. I mean, that badge is that badge is incredible. I like the badge. Yeah, but I mean, the sponsors are horrific. <laughs> yes. I mean, look at it. Look at the state of that, man. Look, look at that. That's what I mean. Uh, what is a lot that? Of, <laughs> a lot of clubs do this. It's too many cities. It's yeah. Too many you know, less is more. Huh? Yeah, agreed. But it's a kind of interesting, I mean, I don't know actually, I was going to say it's an interesting design, but that looks like something you'd find on like a Microsoft, like, I don't know, screensaver or like PowerPoint template, you know? And this is pretty like... I kind of like it. It's okay. Oh, they have Macron. Macron. Like, when are they going to get rid of this? This badge? Yeah, they're going to make it into uh, like a corporate logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is the best badge in the JV. 100%. I get the blah bit. This is a Brazilian brand. Atleta? Yeah. And again there, look at that, you've got all of the all the cities in Akita. And mate, what's that? What, what who's this? Is this one of the guys that uh, came up earlier? Uh, this is Awashi, right? Yeah, Awashi, yeah, yeah, Awashi. I mean it's interesting coming on the show. But yeah. Having an anime on it. Not really for it's, me. Yeah, it's not really for me, but it's interesting. I mean this is this is like a nice old like uh, yeah. version of Kashima basically, isn't it? Yeah. S Pulse is just it never changes. It's uh, pretty basic. To be honest, I I kind of like this one better than yeah. the other ones. The last, so had, had a collar like, last year, right? Huh? Had a collar last year. Uh, yeah, I think it did. Someone mm. said it looks like salmon. Because <laughs> it, yeah. it is. Yeah, the lines. But it's... <laughs> they did better because they took out the box logo. Yeah. I think two, two seasons ago. It's a bit cleaner. I, I like the collar mm. here. I just don't like Puma, man. I just I don't uh, like Yeah, Puma. I'm not the biggest fan of Puma. Mm. I mean, that's a horrible... That's, I mean, what is that? What is that? Turin. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like a cheaper version of what I was kit last year, almost. Yeah, yeah, it's a Puma too. Kind of, kind of cool, almost? I don't know. Not for me. We went down to J3. What is this? Kagoshima? Puma, Kagoshima, very basic. There's nothing, nothing special there. Corporate look. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a miserable looking kit. Uh, that as well. It's like a consultant. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is the first time I've seen like a vertical uh, yeah, right? sponsor. It's, and then, it's really high. That is really high, yeah. And it's, I mean, that's going to peel off as well. Yeah. I'm not a fan of it too. I did think about buying it, yeah. but... It's, I've never seen a logo. Yeah. Do you think they put that logo there? Do you think they moved the band up specifically for this? Uh, that, that should never be happening, right? This should be the priority for sure. Yeah. But then you've also got the Mizano. Mm. This is one of the worst logos. This? Yeah. But what even is that? Yeah. What team even is this? <laughs> hey, Fushima. Uh, I like the previous logo. Fushima Vortis. Oh. That's, that's horrible, man. Yeah. 
It, there's no uh, identity. Honestly, that that might be the worst hit in the whole of the J League, J1 to J3. It's a little bit different, isn't it? The yellow, yeah. but again, I kind of like Sendai's. Yeah. Colors. Mm. But the, the kit's kind of it's whatever. You could have been saying it's but like Adidas has been a good sponsor for their J League. Yeah. They just don't really sponsor many, do they? It's a beautiful kit. So you're a big fan of this, huh? Yeah, I love. I think it's one one of the best kits that they've had in recent years. Yeah. Um, Where's that? It's unique. Yeah. I've never seen something like this. I don't think I've ever seen other because you know usually Nike uses the same template. Right? Yeah. Um, I don't think I've seen this before. I just wish. Didn't have that. I just wish they would get rid of these. You, yeah, you hate the chest. Like the I don't like sponsors. chest sponsor. Huh? Yeah. I like. I don't mind the template. Mm. This thing here. It's just this gets in the way of the badge. Yeah. I agree. Brad should always be the number one priority, and that should be the. Yeah. But it's yeah, really focus good. Like it. really. But it. I mean, you can, it looks like the print right here yeah. is almost coming off already. It's already creased and like. Yeah, it's a bit creased, but. It happens so much with J League shirts, man. It's really frustrating. I love this one. It's a very nice kit, though. I get and it's very, it's kind of a high neck as well. Yeah. Which is cool. Because last year, I mean, last year was like, very different, right? Yeah. But yeah, I like this. I get this one. So you're going to get it, you reckon? I get it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. What about Hiroshima? It's interesting because uh, they're both the same kit makers. Right? Yeah, right. Um, they're very different. It's kind of whatever. It's kind of basic. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I might still buy it anyway. I'm not sure. If it was the other way around, mm. and then they put that design, that's a good call. On the yeah. Body. Yeah. It might look better. I'm not a fan of the um, sleeve. The gold on the sleeve. Yeah. If it was a bit smaller, like just on the on the brim. Yeah. It would look better. It's a bit too big in my opinion. It's all right. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree, but again, yeah, you got the city just under the badge again. Look at the band quality of that, like, where that's added on there, you know what I mean? Like, changing the color of the shirt a little bit, like, nothing special, is yeah. it? Yeah. Nothing, very basic, actually, man. I love that. Yeah. It's a cool badge, but, like, they've, they've done it so cheaply again, you know what I mean? Two massive stars. Yeah. What's uh, Ten titles, ten titles. It's cool. Yeah. That's why it's massive. I mean, the, yeah, huge club. No. But a very basic shirt. Okay. I'd be if I was a cashmere fan, I'd be annoyed at that. It seems very lazy. It's just really there's nothing going on here. Yeah. Like if you, it's almost a reverse of uh, yeah. Hiroshima. Right? Yeah, exactly. But then Ural has both designs. This one has the body, not the shoulder. Mm. Hiroshima has the shoulder, but not the body. But Ural has both, um, which I prefer. It's just really consistent throughout. Agreed. You want to talk about, um, That's an awful badge. That is an awful badge. It's terrible. Some people have said they like it, but not for me, man. It's... What is it? I, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't... How is that associated with the city? I've got absolutely no idea. It's got nothing to do with Nagoya, surely. Yeah. I, it's a bit disappointing. Mm. What, what do you think about um, putting the logo, their, their annual slogan? Never give up for the win. Yeah. And then Kashima. This this has been their logo. Double dream. Or, this one here. Double dream. Yeah. But I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of cool. Doesn't he penetrate, though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Yeah. I mean, it's quite clean. Yeah. But I like that. That's it's always really cool. I, I'm, it's always, I, it's nice. always nice to see when the champions yeah. have the gold badge. Yeah. I love that. It's, it's, yeah, very cool. But A6 kits always run really, really small, for one, which I don't particularly like. But it is different. It's a big deviation from the classic red yeah. as well. I mean, obviously, well, crimson, I should mm -hmm. say. It's a big deviation from that. Like, I'm surprised that it's as dark as it is. But I mean, look, yeah. kind of cool. It's all right. It's a braver choice. It's yeah. nice to see them do something different. I actually think it's a nice it's like kit, apart from the color. The color is disgusting, man. It's a tablecloth. And that, yeah, it's disgusting. Let me see, like, whoever designed that should go to prison. Yeah. It's horrific. Not fat. You want the colors? It's, they're not bad. It's no, just... and the badge is nice as well. Look at that. Very clean, but it's disgusting. If I was playing for them, I'd be furious. <laughs> I think Sephora? Uh, Sephora has some of the best kits. Always. Man. Yeah. It, this is massive. So have they got rid of the um, Sapporo sponsor on the sleeve? I used to really like that Sapporo beer sponsor. Um, they don't have it anymore. They used to have it on the sleeve. Oh, they used to have it here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what... the star. That's a minus for me. You know, it's had the beer sponsor. Like, yeah, it's like the square star. Yeah. I like that one. But they always make really, really clean kits. Yeah. It's just these are way too big. That's good. Yeah. yeah. yeah way too big. If they were in the Champions League, they mm. wouldn't have this. Mm. I don't even know what those companies are. <laughs> Why is that there? 
Yeah. Look at the placement of that star. <laughs> Why are you putting this there? I think they made this design before they won the Levan Cup, so they but had you to put it there. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Rock this a bit. <laughs> what are they bit. doing? That's stinky. I, you know, one thing I, I don't. I'm not a fan of these. Yeah, it looks like high school, like yeah. high school jersey. It's better if it's just uh, you know printed, printed like mm. this. Or... Yeah, agrees. That's that had a lot of potential. That shirt. The design's nice. Mm. I like the design. But I always think it's weird as well that Yonex is a football sponsor. I mean, yeah. they really, it's the only like non tennis stuff, basically. Right? Yeah. I'm not well, a fan of this. People are saying it's very clean added ass effort, but not for me. Yeah. I've read some of that. You don't like Sagan Tossi, you I'm said? Not a fan of no. I think it's kind of cool, man. I wouldn't really want it myself. I probably wouldn't wear it, but. Yeah. I remember when uh, Fernando Torres came, yeah. a lot of his fans were like, change the <laughs> team colors. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame him. So that collar is horrible, by the way. Yeah, Look at that collar, man. What is going on there? Just, they didn't finish it up. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> I, I love the Gamba one. Yeah, Hummel makes some of yeah. the best kits. Yeah. I, I love this um, design here. But this kind of is really reminiscent of, uh, remember like Inter? Like a few yeah. years back, they yeah, had a yeah, really, really yeah, dark yeah, color yeah. scheme with the thin stripes. It kind of yeah. reminds me of that. But I've always liked what Hummel has done recently, because I think they switched kit makers like last season or two seasons. Who are they, who are they before, Umbro? Umbro. Yeah. Umbro, yeah. Yeah, Umbro. I like, I like the one the year before, 2023, but this one's really good too. They stopped the box logos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does look clean, but that QR code is a bit... Yeah. yeah. I'm used to the kind of it. I'm used to the badge. <laughs> the badge is cool. I don't mind the badge. I don't mind but the also, again, the, the star placement, man. Yeah. Look at it. Well, they do, that's pretty good, to be honest. It's a new one. Awful. Yeah, you like it? I, like, I don't like the badge. Yeah, again, badge remake is pretty stinky, pretty, pretty, I think. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, they changed it. Uh, this one, huh? I think they used this uh, same, what is it? Design for Tosu last season. Oh, really? It was, oh, I said, look, look, it's all, uh, Rebounds. This is the the half collar. Ah, uh, so that's their thing this year, the half collar. Okay, I got it. I got it. All I right. like the design. Mm. Not a fan of the badge. Not for me. Not for me. But this one here, the Cerezo one, I think that's lovely, man. I just wish they would do this all around. Yeah. But I mean, at least it's like, like this. A bit cleaner. Yeah. I like this one. That's nice and simple. Yeah. I like the Capcom sponsor. I think that's kind of like cool. Yeah. I mean, Yamaha's a bit, like, grotty. They gotta but... get with the program. <laughs> it's alright. They gotta get with the program. Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. This is really nice. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's a nice kit, man. It's a nice kit. Like, Kawasaki over there. We're gonna see that today, obviously, in the game. Not really for me. Kyoto Sanga never really been for me either. This has all types of color schemes on it. Yeah, man. I mean... And it just clashes so much. Look at the stars up there as well. Like, state of it, man. State of it, not for me. Tokyo Bird is alright. I wouldn't wear it though. Yeah. A Tokyo Birdie, I think, would be a bit too of a. I, mean, I don't know why you'd make a green kit, you know what I mean, on a, on a, on a pitch. But, yeah, yeah. But that's I, nice. It's quite a cool thing. I like, I like the, the Marine like kit. This one, yeah. The design. With the, like, yeah, it's got their colors, the like color. It's pretty sweet. I generally like Adidas. Mm. Yeah. Hachino here. Red Omiyam, Bull, might Red be Bull, there last Omiyam. year with an orange, yeah, right? Red Bull, Saitama. Red yeah, man. Omiyam. Do you think it's going to happen, the takeover? I think so. Yeah? Because they start to allow uh, full foreign takeovers. Really? From, I think, the season. But that, uh, that means that, like... 9% like, like in Germany. So it could be their last season with an orange kit. Yeah. Change it to red and white next season. You're not a fan. I, I, I I'm not a fan of the happen. kit, but uh, I really like the stadium and everything. And I think yeah. that's a... I mean, look at that logo. That's cool as fuck, man. Squirrel on there, yeah. football, <laughs> love it. But we'll see, man. Not not a great kit though. This yeah, season. Got it. Uh, I've never been a fan of Umbro. Or yeah. Under Armour. Under Armour, yeah. Not a soccer brand, football brand. They did right by this one. Yeah. Yeah. Last That's season, nice. So was think... it you that told me that they did a brand change, like changed the badge and everything, I... and then backed out and went back because everyone was I, angry? I think it was me, but it might have been someone on Twitter. Yeah. But yeah, uh, they changed it to a really generic. Corporate, yeah, like a, I switched it back. I mean, that's so, a really nice badge, man. That's really cool. It's beautiful. Yeah, so so they did change it back because of like they changed it back. Okay, that's good. And that design as well around like the sponsor right now, like the one is kind of like you got the okay, yeah built around it. That's okay, cool, man. I like this. 
That's really cool. I forgot what the kit maker was. No idea what it was. Kill me? That's pretty cool as well, though. Nana Club. Nana like Club. It needs to be full bro. Yeah. I mean, again, it's just like printed in, right? Yeah. yeah. It looks so cheap. Yeah. If they made it like a proper like embossed badge, that'd be cool, but... Like Didn't that. they... Did they I change like some that. penalty as well, Sagamihana? I feel like they did. But it's a nice kit. It, it's, it's simple. Simple mm. kit. It's all right. I mean, cool badge, but yeah. apart from that, like it's there's a lot going on there. Yeah, it's quite busy. Yeah. Not bad. Kita mm. It's, it's uh, very basic again. Good for communication. Yeah. Gif is alright. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm sharing about this one. Too. Yeah, that's gonna peel off after about three washes as yeah. well. <laughs> you know it. What is the kit maker? This gold one, this win. One. Gold win did all the importing for uh, North Face, no? In oh, Japan, so oh. I think. Pretty basic. I think yeah. they're going to really struggle this season as well. <laughs> Nova, oh man. Isn't the English... Uh, I think that's the English school, right? No. Yeah. I'm surprised they haven't yeah. gone bankrupt yet. <laughs> that's another cool badge as well. The noodles. Yeah. Yeah.